Hi everybody, I'm Christy Jorgo with SouthernPlate.com. Hopefully by now you've heard of Operation Christmas Child. I know a lot of you have been packing shoeboxes for years. I was very fortunate earlier this year because I got to travel with Operation Christmas Child on a very special distribution trip to Ecuador. I got to hand deliver my shoebox to a little two-year-old girl. It was the most amazing experience. She opened it up and seeing her eyes glitter over as she pulled out a doll and held it to her chest. The rest of the shoebox, the treasures within, were lost on her for the time being when she got to love and hold on her little baby doll. It was a wonderful experience and I got to see firsthand how these shoeboxes really do change lives. So today I thought I would show you how easy it is to pack your own shoebox. This is one that I have packed and of course, this year it has a very special meaning to me because now I know, you know, oftentimes when we donate to charities and things, we kind of wonder, where is our money going? Is it really going to make a difference? But I can tell you with a shoebox, it really does make a difference. One shoebox changes one life. Okay, so here we go. This is a shoebox for a little girl. And this really, this age, this could be for pretty much any age little girl. I've tried to make them kind of versatile. I've got a washcloth. I bought a big pack of those at Walmart, and so I put one in each of my shoe boxes. I have some double bagged hard candy, and I put it in the little freezer quart bags. You'd be amazed at how much they love getting these bags. They're so useful to them. I have two little drinking cups and a little spoon tucked inside of it, and tucked inside the drinking cups, I felt like there's a tiny little teddy bear. So that's another little surprise for her to find. I found these on clearance earlier in the summer. I think I paid a dollar fifty for each of them, and so I bought several to use in my shoe boxes this year. And then we have a brush, some soaps. I have friends who travel; they like for you to include personal toiletry items. Um, I have friends who travel a lot, and so I have them save their hotel soaps for me. I have a train whistle that I also got on clearance, a little notebook of just blank paper, toothbrush and toothpaste picked up at the dollar store, colored pencils I also picked up at the dollar store. And don't forget the pencil sharpener. And then I have rulers that we got free from our state's board of tourism. Um, some more pencils, a comb, and the, this is a scarf. My mother got some fleece yardage on sale and you don't have to sew it. So she just cut a bunch of scarves out. And um, this is still folded and have everybody who gets a shoe box for me will be getting a scarf this year. I went in with my mother and we packed all our shoe boxes together. So we put all these, tuck them safely inside the only thing that's missing is a personal letter from us, which my kids and I are going to start writing, and we're going to also tuck in a family photo with our address. Oftentimes when kids get these shoe boxes, they will write a letter if they're able to, and thank you, and you get to learn even more about them and how your shoe box has impacted a life. I hope this video helps you. It's very easy to pack a shoe box. Just go to the Dollar Tree, shop Dollar General, use coupons, and pick up odds and ends and put it together and you can give a gift that really is going to change the world for one person. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you soon on southernplate.com. Pack those shoe boxes. Bye-bye.